If you're interested in becoming a member of the channel, click the join button below my videos. If you're an iOS user, click the link in the info box and you'll be able to sign up from there. Hey guys, this is Evie. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'll be showing you how I did this really cute shimmery coffin nails on Miss Keisha. All right, so if you guys follow me on Instagram, you saw this pic of where I was soaking off Miss Keisha's nails. And this is my silicone practice hand from Red Iguana. I have the poseable one. Let's see how I was able to pose the hand so she can soak her nails off. <laughs> my last design, I used a peel off base coat and I was able to pop the thumbnail off, but I guess I didn't have a thick enough layer because I wasn't able to get the rest of them off, which is why I had to go ahead and soak these nails off. Um, so after soaking and letting the hand dry, I'm going to apply some new nail tips on there. Um, you can also buy the nails to go with your hand um, for processes like this when you have to soak them off and then you can put more on. So she recommends to use this Gorilla Glue gel. I only just need a tiny bit. So I just do a little line on the nail bed, kind of um, spread it about with the nozzle and then I hold the nail tip in place. Yeah, I just hold it in place for about 10 to 15 seconds and they are on there. So this is after all of the full nails are glued on to Miss Keisha. For this look, I'm using Long Care Pretty Nails Clear Acrylic along with these beautiful glitters and this is Pretty Purple and Mermaid Glitter. These are available on my website. I will leave the links to everything down below. So I've already prepped Miss Keisha hand. I went ahead and trimmed those nails down and also buffed away the shine from the nail. And I'll be using these extra long nail forms to create the long coffin shape. And yeah, just put the nail form on, making sure it's nice and straight and snug. And I'm just gonna go in with the clear acrylic and we're going to extend this nail and just create a nice um, thin clear base. So you can definitely use tips if you want to. Um, there's no issue with going ahead and gluing on tips. Uh, but as you guys know, I prefer to sculpt so. That is what I'm doing here. Um, the reason why I like to sculpt the clear tips, I guess, versus just um, gluing on tips, because I find that clear acrylic is much clearer than the clear tips. Um, so when I want a very glass type clear look, I go for sculpting versus tips. And I just repeat this for all of the nails. All right, so once all of the acrylic is laid and dried, I'm just gonna go ahead and take these nail forms off. And as you can see, you have a nice, thin, clear base. Thank you. 
All right, so now I'm just going to do a little bit of filing and shaping. And now I'm going in with the Long Care Pretty Nails Natural Pink. And we're going to place that on the nail bed area and kind of have it going in a ombre fashion. And then I go in with a second bead just to um, further extend that nail bed color. I'm gonna put down a tiny bead of clear and while that's still wet, I'm gonna press in the mermaid glitter. And I'm just using the, that tip of the brush to kind of push the glitter pieces where I want them to be. And then I'm going in with the pretty purple and I'm um, just trying to, you know, create a nice little mix of these glitters on the nail. All right, so once I have the glitter in place the way that I like and I give it um, some time to dry in place, I'm just gonna go in with some wet beads of clear and place this over the glitter, especially on the chunkier pieces, um, just so they can go ahead and dry and not slide around. So yeah, if you guys are interested in a silicone practice hand from Red Iguana, I will go ahead and leave those links down below. Um, if you use my coupon code, which is lowercase LHPN, you get 10% off your order. So that is a deal. And if you guys are um, wanting to know the one that I have, once again, I have the posable one and I believe this is the color tan. All right, so for the ring fingernail, I wanted to do some lace. So I have this pink lace cloth and I went ahead and cut a strip and I'll be gluing this on using the IBD brush on nail glue. Um, so before I do that, I'm just going to see where about I want the lace to lay and then I apply the nail glue and then just press into the glue and it sticks very, very well. <laughs> All right, so now I'm just gonna take some scissors and cut off the excess. All right, so now I'm taking a bead of the natural pink and I'm just gonna use that on the nail bed area and also slightly bring it over the lace. Um, just to blend where the lace starts. All right, so after that, I'm just gonna go back in with that beautiful mermaid glitter and just place that a little bit on that line where the lace and the nail bed meet. All right, so once that is in place, I'm just gonna go ahead and encapsulate this nail. And 
and just making sure that the clear is also on the sides as well because we wanna seal in this lace. All right, so for the middle fingernail, I'm just gonna go in once again with that natural pink and work that on the nail bed area and blend it down. And then I'm coming in with the pretty purple glitter and I'm applying that to the cuticle area and working that downward. And once again, um, working the, my brush uh, to push around the chunkier pieces of glitter to put those where I want them to be and where they aren't all scrunched up in one area. This glitter is so beautiful. <laughs> Everything is so pretty and shiny. All right, so I'm gonna let that dry a bit and then I'm just gonna move on to the index finger. Um, so for this one, I didn't really know what I was gonna do at first, um, but I decided I wanted to do a full nail with the natural pink and then at the very tip, we're gonna have some glitter. All right, so I'm gonna swing back to the middle finger and encapsulate all of this glitter.
all right so this is after the nails have been filed shaped and buffed so now I'm taking the index fingernail and we're gonna apply some chunky crystals so I'm going in with a large bead of clear and then I'm pressing in this opal jewel from gear best and then the round and triangle chunky crystals which are available on my online store longcareprettynails.com I will link those down below so I'm applying this to just the um, natural pink color part. I don't want to get this on the glitter itself. Once this is dry, which you can tell that it, you know, dries clear, <laughs> it's going to have a tacky layer and we're just going to press this holographic nail foil into this and yeah, gives you these nice little um, random specks, really pretty. <laughs> All right, so after that, I'm going in with the Poochie's Nails Super Shine Gel Top Coat and reveal this beautiful, beautiful shimmery set. Oh, that is so, so, so gorgeous. Um, so with the lace here, because it is a light pink color, um, you can see it, it's just very, very soft. So next time, I think I'm gonna put it on a darker background so you can see the lace more. And this is the thumbnail. I just kind of did the same thing that I did on the pinky, but kind of blending the glitter. So after curing that and applying cuticle oil, this is the finished look. Miss Keisha hands are slayed, okay? I went ahead and even put the rings on her, okay? <laughs> but I really, really love how this set came out. The glitter and the shimmer and just the length. I just love everything about this set. I hope you guys enjoyed this nail tutorial. Head over to longcareprettynails.com and check out the shop. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I will talk to you in my next one.